Hey there After Effects buddies, let's take a look at how to make an effect where I've put a picture inside a phone with a hand going over it using Mocha. Okay, so here's the original footage here, which is this clip here. Okay, there's the original clip. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on that and choose new comp from selection. So we'll start from scratch. So what I need to do now is I'm going to track this with Mocha. So I can go to uh, Effect and we've got on here Boris FX Mocha, Mocha AE, put that on there. And then I'm just going to double click this and that's going to open up Mocha there. Okay, so what I need to do is track this surface. Okay, so it's it's what's called a planar tracker. It works a little differently to the After Effects tracker, but it's great for stuff like this. So um, I can use a pen tool to draw a, a, a shape, but I can click on here and just do a, a rectangle tool. I'll just draw a rectangle here, and then I'll just move the edges over to the edge, just over the phone. You see, I don't have to get precise edges. I just need to get the basic shape. All right. There we go. That should do it. Okay. So I'm just getting the phone in like here. And what I'm going to do, I'll do transition scale, rotation skew. It's moving forwards and backwards a tiny bit. So maybe do perspective too. Okay. So then I just hit this track button and I'm going to track this forward. Okay. So off it goes. Tracking away. See up there? Tracking. Okay. And it goes at the bottom. So it shouldn't take too long. It's a fairly simple shape. The great thing about Mocha is it's ignoring the finger. The finger's not interfering with the track, which is great for this kind of thing. Here we go. Almost there. Okay, that's done. Now what I can do to set within this, I want to set the shape for my corner pin effect. So I'm going to click on this, where it says surface here, and choose show surface okay and I'm going to move the corners of this surface inside here to just what I want to be my new screen I'm going to go slightly over the edge you'll see why later because i am kind of put because I want to make sure I just make sure you don't get any green in here go past the green a little bit okay so I've got just on the edge of the phone there that's that and what I can do is I can click to show grid okay and if I play this the grid looks yeah it's nicely kind of following the phone so it's a good way to check that it's all working okay stop that and uh, what I'm going to do now is all I need to do is hit save on this so I'm going to click on this little downward arrow to save I can close this now and go back in to After Effects. Okay, so there's our tracking data and our map data. Okay, so I want to put an image in here. So what I'm going to do is I've got um, I've got Gretel here. This is my okay. And now, if I apply the tracking data here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to pre-compose this layer. So I'm going to pre-compose. Okay, and I'll move everything inside the new comp. So this will reset the composition. I'll call it Gretel. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I've got the, got the pre-comp. Now, if I took this tracking data here, okay, I'm going to put it on, on this pre-comp, and we're going to see it's not going to quite work yet. But I'll show you how to fix it. So what we need to do is we need to create the track data. The track data has been stored in Mocha, okay? But we need to get it into After Effects because we've got no keyframes or anything yet. So if I go create track data, okay, layer one was the layer I created inside of Mocha for tracking. So I click on that little cog wheel there and hit OK. Right, and now we've got, you can see on the phone, we've got all these corner pin, all these track points, okay? So that's so 
I can then choose which layer I'm going to apply this to. So I'll put it on Gretel and hit apply export. So there you can see, obviously, poor Gretel though has been squashed. Oh no, but that's okay. I'm just going to open this pre-comp and then this layer, I'm going to just choose fit to comp. So it's all stretched out in here, but of course back in our main comp, it's been kind of reset to the right size. Perfect. But what we've got is we've got this the finger coming over here. So we see a lot of footage where you've got a keyed phone. So we've got green on the phone. So we can duplicate this bottom layer. I'm going to go Command D, duplicate. And I'm going to just drag this up on top. And then go and find in my effects and presets. I'm going to use the key light effect, but I'm actually going to use the key light in, in the preset folder because it's also got the spill suppressor. Because what we'll get is we'll get some, we'll probably get some green spill around this finger. So by using the spill suppressor, that should just help clean up the effect. So I'm going to drop this onto the top layer. Okay. And use the eyedropper tool to select the green. Okay. Now that's popped out, but we've still got a little bit of green left here and we can fix this quite easily and a good way to fix this is to go over in our effects settings here okay to change from the intermediate result when we use the key cleaner and spill suppressor it works better on the intermediate result uh, the reason is the final result adds some extra color correction which interferes with the spill suppressor so this actually works better okay it's just one stage below this and you'll get a better spill suppression. So, okay, so, but I'm gonna switch that up to the screen map, okay? And I'm not really worried about this bit because that's all duplicated underneath. But what I want to do is just roll up the screen map and in this dark area, okay? I'm just gonna clip the black until those X's all disappear, okay? So I'll roll that up maybe to about 50%. Okay. So when I go back to my intermediate result, now we've got the old finger back. So I'll turn on the spill suppressor, okay? And that removes the green spill around the edges of the phone and the finger. So, so there we go. So we've now got Gretel in the phone. Got the finger coming on top. I'm just going to come to here where the finger hits. So about here, I'm just going to open this again. And that's where I just added some text here. Did the word Gretel. And because this is going to obviously get squashed, what I did was I made the text. I used the text scale for the width to make the text a little stretchier. Okay. And then did this, moved it over here, and I'd like this to animate on and so as if it's appearing from this point. So, oops, what I will do, I'll use a mask. I'll just mask out the edge here. I'll just use a rectangle mask. Do that, okay. And I'll change the mask by from add to subtract. Okay, so anything outside of the mask is what's visible. Okay, let's go out there. Oops. Oops. That's it, mask. Just move it, move it along a bit. There we go. So I'm going to do the, uh, back to here. So I just want it to be, fro yeah, from about. Right. So there it is. So I need to animate this on, and I'm going to do it from the point where his finger touches. About here, yeah, so I'll just open that up again. So about here on my timeline, what I'm gonna do is hit position, and I'm gonna, now here's the thing. If I do position on this layer, okay, if I move the position, the mask moves along with the text. So that's not good. Okay, so if instead of the layer position, I go into the animate menu, okay, and select the, text position the layer will stay where, where it is including the mask and I can animate the position of the text 
over this way like so okay add a little keyframe there and animate the text out into here there we go lovely that's about right maybe add some motion blur to that okay maybe take the mask and press the F key and just feather that mask a little so softer edge hello, hello, that's hello. me talking to my doggy there <laughs> so I can turn that off all right oh little Gretel there we go so now that text is gonna pop out from underneath the finger all right so I'll turn all the sound off there all right boom and there we have it finger comes in we see the finger over the phone thanks to the green screen and thanks to mocha we've got the image in the right place and everything is good okay what i also quite wanted to do i kind of wanted just the edges to be a little bit darker on this maybe have a little border because it's a very fine little line around here so another thing i could do i could just go back into here i could take my shape tool okay and set the fill with the alt key to little red line through no fill have a, like a black stroke and say it's something quite chunky like you know 60 70 something like that and if i just kind of uh double click on this i'll do it on the rounded rectangle and just double click on that okay it'll give me a border and so back in here i've got a little extra border there we go and that can be your finished product all right so mocha is great that it's now a plugin it makes it much simpler and more tidy to use so thanks for watching after effects buddies cheers